What's up guys? Today I'm gonna to show you how you can save on cellular data on your iPhone. Now I'm going to jam pack a lot of really good tips and tricks in this video that's gonna save you a ton of data. So make sure you watch to the end to take full advantage of the video. Let's get right into it. Now the first thing that you need to do is you need a really good way to monitor and track the amount of data that you're using on your phone. Apple has a built-in version under the cellular option in the settings app. Uh, but this isn't particularly good because the data period that this reports on does not automatically reset. So what I would recommend doing is go over to the App Store and download an app. Um, so just go into the App Store and search for data usage, data usage, and then I would recommend this app right here, data usage, save more money. Using this app, you can track all the data that you're using on your phone and you can program it so that it automatically resets at the end of your billing cycle. So make sure you go ahead and set this up for the first time. Um, enter the start and end date of your phone plan and then also enter the current data usage that you're currently at for the first month. And then after you have this set up the first time, it'll automatically reset every single month and track all the data that you're using. Another really good tip is go over to the settings app on your phone and under the cellular option in settings, go into cellular data options. And then here you can turn on a low data mode. So this is gonna stop your apps from automatically updating when you're on data. It's gonna stop your photos from syncing to the iCloud when you're on data. Um, so make sure you turn this on if you are interested in that. Now using this low data mode that I mentioned um, is going to hopefully stop your apps from automatically updating over data. Um, but just to make sure you can also scroll down to the app store and you can turn off automatic downloads on cellular data on this page as well. And also on this page, there's an option for video autoplay. So this is going to automatically play videos while you're on the app store looking at apps. Um, you can turn this onto Wi-Fi only, and this way it's not going to automatically play and load those videos, eating up your data while you're doing so. Keeping on the same cellular page, scroll down and make sure you turn off cellular data from apps that you don't actually want to have loading and being used over data. So for example, you could turn off YouTube and other video streaming apps um, so that you can only watch those videos on Wi-Fi. And you can use this page to see how much generally each app is using. So this is a good way where you can turn off apps that are using more data than others. Okay, so these final few tips are what actually saved me the most amount of data. If you use social media all the time like I do, I'm gonna go through a couple of apps where you can turn on a low data mode for, namely Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. So for Facebook, I just clicked on the menu button down here in the bottom right corner and then click on settings at the top right from here. And here you just wanna click on your name for your profile settings at the very top. And here you want to scroll down to the media and contact section and then you'll see an option for videos and photos so click on videos and photos so here under video quality you can turn the video quality on data saver mode so this is going to save data by loading lower quality videos while you are using data and then also there's the autoplay option here as well and you can click this to wi-fi only and this way these videos will not automatically load and play while you're using data. Okay, so that's how you do it for Facebook. The next one I'm going to look at is Instagram. So I'm going to hop over to Instagram. And here I am again, just on the settings page. And on the settings page, you wanna click on account. Here you wanna scroll down and click on data usage. And here again, you'll see an option to use less cellular data. So then finally, I'm gonna take a look at Snapchat. So I'm gonna close Instagram and go into Snapchat. And here I'm going to go to settings again. So I'm gonna click on my profile and head over to settings. The settings gear button is here on the top right. And on the settings page, you wanna scroll down until you see the option for additional services. Here, click on the manage button. And here again, you will see an option to reduce data on your Snapchat. Turn this on. I know a lot of you guys use TikTok. I personally don't use it myself, but I know TikTok has a similar feature to turn on a low data mode. I just went over to Safari and searched for TikTok low data mode, and I got some very easy instructions here to do this on that app as well. So if you use TikTok or any other app that has um, videos, make sure you go ahead and turn on low data mode on these other apps as well. So that's pretty much it. If you followed this video, you are going to save a ton of data on your phone. Um, you may even be able to lower your data phone plan and save some money that way as well. Um, but make sure you track everything with the data usage app that I mentioned at the start of the video. If you like this video, hit subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.